Okay, good morning guys. Last day in Angeles City. Well, welcome back to Be Adventures, Angeles City in Philippines. Last shots in my room, all packed up. Whew, I spent like an hour doing the final packing, just trying to get everything to fit. All good. Yeah, very nice room. Even though it was a smoking room, I didn't smoke in here, it was fine. That was fun. Yeah, it does have that little faint smell, but it's fine. Okay, so I need to go grab Seth and Lynn from Seth Style, and we're gonna get ready to get out of here. All right, awesome. All right, good morning, Seth. Morning. Uh, just gonna show you guys, Lynn's organizing tricycles for us, using her local skills. <laughs> Look at us, man, we are like overloaded. Dude, we got way too much luggage. Yeah. Way too much. And I, I made sure I cut down on clothing just to save space. Oh, really? But mind you, I did buy souvenirs, guys. If you saw previous episodes, so it's kind of my own, you know, that was my own thing. And thank you very much. It's been very nice here. So if I come back to Angeles, I'd love to stay here again. And um, yeah, that no, was really good. All right, guys, we gotta go. We gotta go uh, get the bus back to Manila, and then from there we're gonna fly to Palawan. So these are the tricycles, we just negotiated 150. It's fair because we got a lot of luggage, man. It's a lot of weight. That's okay. And saying goodbye to the hotel. Oh, let's put that one uh, in this. Yeah, yeah. And that's the best. Put my feet, man. Look how crammed up I am. That was a very cool ride. It was actually very smooth, surprisingly. And the guy's very quick. We didn't have much traffic, it's really early. Look at these guys rocking up. Fully loaded. Okay. We made it. We did really well, actually. We did, we did. Yeah, but it's a good thing we got up early, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 6 a.m. We're good, we're good on timing. We're going to the airport, so. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, because we still got a couple of hours to bed. Three hours if we're lucky to get to Manila, could be four if there's bad traffic. And from there, we still need to get to the airport, all right? So that's what we're going so early. All right. This guy came on board saying hot dogs, so I got one. 40 pesos. Why not for breakfast? Give it a try. You like that, don't you, sir? Nice and long. I, I, I want I like one, it. actually. I'm just worried about getting, uh, you know, on the bus. All right. Be in, a, in, a, in an awkward position. Right, right. If you get my yep. drift. Yeah, I'm going to risk it. Give it a try. This is a bumpy ride. We just entered Manila. So we're not from from Makati, but we're going to the bus station. Asia. I think, is it the biggest mall in Asia? I believe so. Yeah, it's, de it's definitely big, like you get fatigued, man. You get lost in there. If you give the shaky cam, it's a very rough ride. Okay, so we're nearly in Pasai. We purposely want to go there because it's closer to the airport. Obviously, the bus can let you off anywhere you want. SMDC. Okay, Mabuhai, welcome to Manila. The adventures. <laughs> we are now in Pasai. P A S A Y, Pasai. It's right next to Makati, by the way, for those who don't understand. Look at all that traffic, guys. It goes all the way back. At least we're moving. It is 8 a.m. Sorry, just have to check the watch. So we're doing okay. It's gonna get worse. Oh, it's a Sunday today, isn't it? I think it's Sunday today? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sunday's a bit better for traffic, sorry. That's probably why we're still moving. On a weekday, we'd probably be stuck in a uh, gridlock, you know, heavy traffic. So uh, we're going past all the bus terminals now. 
This is my uh, tactical hot dog, as you can see, meat on a stick, goes well on the molly. Nah, it was a really good hot dog, by the way, it was a good breakfast. 40 pesos, it's nice. Okay, guys, we're here, that's the company wheels used for train co, I mean, or fuel transport co, I mean, you can use whatever. Yeah, we just jumped on whatever. Um, it worked out just fine, it was about two hours, so we left at 6 something a.m. We're here at 8.20 a.m. on this documented. Okay. So, very good timing. We have to get up early and leave early because we have a midday flight. We don't want to be late. But we purposely chose to travel on a Sunday because Sunday's a little bit better. So, though uh, traffic isn't as bad and not as hectic, that also means there's less buses, less taxis because it's a Sunday. So, pro and con, but tends to work well. Hey, you guys holding up? Doing okay. Hungry. Seth and Lynn, yeah. So, Hungry. we'll get something to eat. All right. Check these guys out. Oh, they got old family on there. All right, oh, that's cool. Oh, and it's another tip. So what happened at the bus station? I've done it before. For lack of a better term, it's like a bus marshal or, or a taxi marshal, and they find you a taxi. So you just give them a tip, whatever, 20 pesos, 50 pesos, whatever. And it's worth it because they got to fight all that hectic traffic. We're talking like down in Pasaya or whatever. Uh, I, same thing happened to me when I came back from Batangas. Just got the bus back, it was fine, and then the marshal got me a taxi and it was all good. And I just asked for a meter taxi. So it's worth it, you know. They get they get you fixed up. Also help you with your luggage. We are too full. <laughs> okay, Mabuhai, welcome to Terminal 4. Just another terminal, but it's nice to see all the taxis ranked up. That's what um, Seth and I talk about in our videos, that this is drop-off, right? For departures. If you walk upstairs, you can come to the departures area, get a taxi pretty easily. See everyone getting dropped off. Okay, cool. I believe Terminal 4 is brand new, so it'll be interesting. We'll check it out. Okay, we just went past the first security checkpoint. You gotta understand, there can be several, but we're just getting this coffee experience. The guys haven't had breakfast yet. Uh, when we get to the next one, there's even, I think, restaurants. Uh, what I want to tell you guys... Oh yeah, we're so early, we cannot actually check in yet. So, just say the flight's at 12, we can check in two hours early, so we have to wait until 10 a.m. It's like... 9, 9 a.m. So we got an hour to kill, which is nice. But just consider that, guys. It's always better to be early, but sometimes you can't even check in because you're so early. But always better. And so we're just chilling out. That, that way we're not rushing like now. This is really interesting. It's the first time I've seen it. They've actually got a display for prohibited items. But uh, good warnings. I didn't know that. But obviously this is for um, carry-on. Check luggage isn't a problem. All right. I've, I've carried tweezers and nail cutters in my check luggage before. It's not a problem. Tripods can be a problem too, guys. That's why I don't typically use them. And I also want to travel light. Liquids can definitely be a problem. But again, remember this is carry on. Check luggage isn't usually an issue. Depends, you got to check with the airlines. Some have uh, limits, like how many mils and all that sort of business. And aerosols, all that business. But anyway, most of you guys know this stuff. It's just interesting that I've actually got an example here in the airport. Uh, very quickly, I actually ran across the road to this uh, nice little store uh, to get some food, just for fun. And this was 105 all up for two steamed pork buns and a barbecue. You can also get rice with it, I just didn't want it. So I got that for Seth and Lynn, and I'm just going to give it a try. See, I walked across the road. Okay, just to quickly explain, see, we're at the domestic, okay? This is your first checkpoint, you go through security, and then you have a second checkpoint to get into the departure area. So all these bullet planning business, it's very hard to believe because they even have multiple checkpoints. Depending on also which flight, sometimes there's three, you know, like if it's an international flight. All right? So security is usually very high. It also gives you multiple chances to adjust, meaning if you have any contraband, you can take it out before you get on the plane. All right, guys? So you shouldn't be worried. You should not be worried. As long as you've done the right thing, there shouldn't be any problem. And even if there is a problem, like I said, you have multiple checkpoints to adjust or adapt. Okay, so this is your check-in area, you drop off your luggage, check-in for your flights. That's all saying about this is the departure area. This is your second checkpoint, the security. The security back there, okay? That's what I mean by multiple checkpoints, guys. Okay, just cleared the second security, the one I was talking about. My friends are being held up, just checking. You don't need a freak, they just brought too much liquid, they're just checking it, that's all. They're not in any trouble, they're just checking it. There you go, the barges lounge, fully loaded. You want food and all that? I got it here too. 
Let's check my friends. I think they're okay. Yeah. They're okay. See? Alright, so you don't need to freak out, guys. No bullet planting here. Did, did they plant any bullets? You're okay? No, no, we're good. It was our mosquito repellent. No, I'm just, I made a joke about the bullet planting scam. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's mosquito repellent. They just wanted to check it. Yeah, yeah, because it's um, liquid. It's uh, what do you call that? Like a spray. Like a spray. That's oh, aerosol. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. But it wasn't actually an aerosol. It's just a pump spray or whatever. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys, this is awesome. There's free prepaid SIM cards, right? Usually they go for 40 pesos. So it's, it's quite cheap. But should you be a tourist and you need a SIM card, you can grab them for free, but you must prepay the load. So you keep paying for what you need. Papa John's, I have not seen one of these before, so excitable. They're known for their consistency of their pizzas. Sorry. Oh my god, Americans. Just getting in the way. American. <laughs> no, but this is like an American brand, but I've, just, I've never seen it before. I know what it is, but it's cool. But they are known for their consistency around, around the world, yeah. Especially in Philippines, so. Cool. Damn, man, I might get a slice too. But yeah, that SIM card thing really got my attention. So, I don't know who, who else is doing it. This is Terminal 4. But it's just nice to know if you've just arrived, you need a SIM card. Okay, it's very convenient. Maybe it's not film worthy. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, my first time trying Papa John's. It's the Italian sausage. It, it's really hot, it smells great. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Tastes like, tastes like cardboard. <laughs> tastes like pizza. No, it's good. But they really sell about their consistency and cleanliness. Um, I guess in Philippines that's nice. I like how they brown the cheese more. In Philippines I notice they melt the cheese and, but they don't brown it. I don't know, it's this weird thing they do. So, yeah, it's nice. Anyway, good snack. <laughs>